Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the 7 Plus Taskbar Tweaker Tool. So it's a free tool you could use to kind of customize your Windows Taskbar. Uh, as of right now it doesn't work for Windows 11, but you could still use it for Windows 10. So once you install it, you open it, you have various sections here. Taskbar items, grouping, combining, and other taskbar options. So I'll kind of go through some of these here. So right click jump list. So if, if you right click on, let's say you have Word open and you want to see like recent files and stuff like that or even a Chrome, you right click, you can see the jump list, but if you change this to standard window menu, you right click, then you'll have the restore and maximize and close like that. So the default is jump list. Okay, then we have the middle click option. So default is new instance. So if we middle click on calculator here, we could start another instance of calculator, but we could change that to say minimize. So let's say we have it like this, we could middle click, minimize it, or we could even pick close. To close it like so and then dropping pin to default instead of open with so let's say we have this uh, text file here if right now if we uh, drag it to the taskbar even if we put it on top of this existing notepad it will be pinned so if we close this now it's pinned so let's unpin it so let's open notepad again And if we change to open with, if we drag this into the notepad down here, it'll open with notepad. All right, and then for hovering, show thumbnail preview. So if we hover over this here, we get our thumbnail previews. We change it to list. We could have a listing, then we could click on each one that we want to open here. A tooltip doesn't seem to do anything. And then there's nothing, which does nothing. I'm not sure what they mean by thumbnails on this part, so we're going to skip that. Maybe we can figure that out. Uh, so pinned items. So we have these four items pinned here. If you want to remove the gap, give yourself a little room, you could do that. Then if you want to change this to open with double click. So normally you do a single click to open each one, but now you can change it if you want to do a double click. All right, so then we have the grouping. Grouping by application ID. So these are all grouped right now. And don't group if you want to. Change it like that, so each window has its own uh, icon down there. And then you have some options for when not grouping, place new items next to existing ones, don't group pinned items, drag within between groups, use the right mouse button. All right, so combining uh, the taskbar settings, it's the default here. So that's set to not group, or you could combine them and group them, or don't combine them like that. And then decombine, so say on mouse hover, that'll decombine them and then put them back. And you can pick and show labels. Uh, left click on combine item opens the thumbnail, that's the default, like that. You could also do cycle through windows. So if you want to cycle through all the active windows in that group, just by left clicking on the main taskbar icon. And then open last window if inactive. So that's the last one you had open out of this four will open when you click on it. Okay, then we have other taskbar options for the mouse wheel. Cycle between taskbar buttons. So if we go here, we kind of cycle between everything that's open using the mouse wheel. Then skip minimize windows if you want to do that. And then minimize, restore when mouse is over the taskbar buttons. And then volume control when mouse is over the taskbar. So if you want to just scroll with your wheel, you could do that. Or you could have it when you're over the notification area. Like that. And then for, double, for empty space down here, uh, you could open up something like a task manager. Instead of right-clicking task manager, you could just double-click it. Open task manager. Here's your other options here. Nothing is default, and same for middle click. And then if you want to hide the start button, you could do that. Hide the show desktop button, display seconds in the clock, and reserve empty space on the taskbar. I'm not sure how that works, but maybe you could figure it out for yourself there. And then there's the taskbar inspector, which is kind of just go through everything you have open here. 
So as you can see, it does a lot of uh, cool stuff here. A couple of things I couldn't really figure out, like the thumbnails. Not sure what he meant by that, but I'm sure you could kind of look in the help or research it to find out if you really want to know. So I will put a link in the description where you could go and download this. So it's uh, free, free to use. And you just need to install it and run it. You can start tweaking your taskbar. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.